Anthony, no one has matched your dedication to Maywood and Sela. Your accomplishments speak volumes, and I consider myself fortunate to call you both a friend and mentor. Maywood and Sela are undoubtedly better off with you in our corner. I share in Maywood's success with you and your team. Our trajectory could have been drastically different without your leadership and commitment. Therefore, it is with great pride that I announce the renaming of our park to speaker Anthony Rendon, Riverfront Park. Yeah! This is a great thrill. The, my relationship with Maywood goes way back in, to the nonprofit sector. This particular park is very meaningful. We have our Earth Day events here. We have our bike rides that end here. We do all of our health care fairs here as well, so it's a, it's a great honor. He's brought in so many resources, so much funding to Maywood and the, and the entire Southeast, you know, funding that we hadn't seen in, in years and decades. So to have someone in Sacramento fighting for us, fighting for Maywood, fighting for the Southeast, bringing in the amount of resources and the amount of funding that he's brought for crucial projects, you know, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing to have someone, Anthony, in our corner fighting for us. So giving him this honor was a no-brainer for us. Maywood wouldn't be what it is today without his support. You know, we're very honored to have Anthony as our representative and as our champion for the Southeast and for the city of Maywood. This is a great honor. It's an honor that obviously the city council bestowed upon me, but we really know that the staff has such a tremendous impact on all the work that gets done here. We know the YMCA, a lot of the local organizations were here today. They do a tremendous amount of work on the ground every single day. So this is truly a, a, a group effort and a group honor. This park is about us and it's about what we do but it's really about the future. It's about the future of Southeast LA. It's about the future of Maywood. So as long as we continue to work in that direction and make sure that we have communities that are vibrant today, but that we know are going to continue to be vibrant for a long time, then we're always moving in the right direction.